Hey guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis. Welcome to my channel. I am bringing you a Dollar Tree combined haul, more than one trip for sure. And, see all this stuff right here? And a trip to Michael's where I picked up just a few things. So let's get into it without any further delay. For number one, thank you for being here at my channel. I appreciate you. If you enjoy my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I love my subscribers. And I All right, here we go. Let's start with Michael's since it's so much smaller. Okay, I went into Michael's. It was just like um, spur of the moment. I was looking for something with my husband and he had to go to a different store. So I ran into Michael, Michael's and I found some things on clearance and I love these little findings. And this one is, it's like an owl and uh, they're both owls, but they're really pretty. And this one looks like he almost has a clock inside him. Is that what it's supposed to be? And then this one are just some little keys. Like you turn the key. You know, if you can see. So anyway, they were only like $1.47 a piece. So I really like those and it's fun to use for junk journals or that kind of thing. Then I also went ahead and picked up this huge package of foam sheets because I'm going to be making a number of those memo boards um, that I showed in one of my videos and I'll link it below. Um, it's just an idea, like here's three ideas that you can do. And then everybody had so many more ideas when they saw it and so that spurred me. So I'm gonna be making some more and I'm going to make some for presents for my coworkers and I'm gonna personalize those and then I'm gonna make some for fall and probably Christmas and so it's gonna be really fun. But I needed some foam sheets. Anyway. All right, so then I found um, this big bag of buttons for 97 cents, and they had a bunch of them, and they had material scraps too. And I have a lot of buttons, but you know, it was 97 cents, and I love buttons. So anyway, I did pick that up. Now this is something that I was really excited about, and it was 40% off, and this little hedgehog is adorable. So it was only about $6 and he is so cute. Now, if you remember last year, I don't know if you do, but I picked up a cute little squirrel and a cute fox. And it's made out of the same stuff, I guess. Anyway, this guy is adorable. So I can't wait to decorate for fall. Matter of fact, I almost started last week and, and I ran out of time, so. And then I picked up these. Now these are doll pens, but I see them as feet for um, our pedestals for things that I want to make. So I did pick that up. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much. And then they had these on sale. These were 97 cents as well. And they had red and white. And I almost got the red because I have a lot of red in my kitchen actually. Uh, for a long time I wanted to get red and now I don't want red anymore, but now I have red everything. So, <clears throat> anyway, it's gonna be red for a while. But I got white, and these are cute, and 90 cents, and they're really heavy duty. And, you know, they got me at the checkout with the candy corn. How many of you guys like candy corn? Candy corn, yeah. All right, and then the last thing that I picked up at Michael's was um, the candles. I love it when they put their huge candles on sale, three for 10. And this is the pumpkin donut. Okay, I've never smelled the pumpkin donut, but when I was in the store, oh my goodness, this is so good. If you like pumpkin, like pumpkin spice or pumpkin latte or whatever, mm, girls, this smells so good. You wanna eat it, that's how good it smells. And pumpkin is one of my favorite scents. So that's why I get so excited about fall coming. Anyway, so that's all I got at Michael's. So let's jump over to the Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm talking so fast because I, I know you don't want to hang on here forever and ever. And I don't blame you. I don't want to hang on here forever and ever either. But anyway, puffs. Do you guys buy puffs? I love puffs. They're my favorite. And that one, yeah, puffs. And so anyway, I went ahead and got a couple boxes of puffs. Um, we use those. And so that's what I wanted to get. Then this LA Colors little lip gloss. I haven't used it, but I use this type of lip gloss in my purse a lot, I carry it around, and so it makes my lips feel moist, so I picked that up. 
And then they have this cute novel called Away in a Manger. And it's a, it says it's a best-selling author. And it says Molly Murphy series. Has anybody ever read this? I guess it's um, Reese Bowen. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I picked it up. I thought, you know, if I have time to read, that might be a fun read. So if not, I'll turn it into a junk journal. And no, all is not lost. All right. Then I did pick up this little hanger, can, very useful for many things, so I went ahead and picked that up. I have so many things that I wanna do, I don't know if I'm gonna get them all done, but you know, we can always try, and then next year, that's what I'm using some of the stuff that I already bought. So, all right, leaves for fall. You can never go wrong. And then I did pick up some of these. Um, they're like the styrofoam pumpkins. I like these because they're not heavy. And uh, so I did pick up some of those. And then I picked up some of these off-white ones. And I really like the color. And these are the stone uh, star foam too. And I'm making a, a DIY for you guys. And I had to do the painting tonight. So you'll see that in the video when it's coming up. But the painting had to dry. So I had to do that. It's like, you know, like I want to do it right now, but I can't do it all right now. All right, so some squishy footballs. So we have a fantasy football um, league that we're in and our draft is September 1st. And I always um, decorate the tables and put all kinds of trinkets and toys on it or stickers or whatever while we're doing the draft because the draft can kind of take a long time. And so we have all kinds of food and whatever. But anyway, so I got some football for the draft and that was a weird noise i do not know what that was but it wasn't in here i don't know okay all right so getting going further and you can't see it but across the room i have my tubs for christmas out and my fall and last year's fall and then i've got a tub for this year's fall so that I can stay organized and see what I have so that I can do everything I wanna do. Anyway, okay, I know I'm being silly, but anyway, it's it's just a fun thing, you know, like life is fun. Okay, so I'm doing this fun craft for you guys and for me, you know, not just for you, but for me. And I found these at the Dollar Tree and they actually seal really well. So you can see they have a seal on them, but they're so cute, apothecary type cute. So these are gonna be in that craft coming up. All right, the next thing that I have are these cool lights, and I really like these, um, these types of lights because you push them and they light from underneath or to the side. So we've got a craft coming up with this, and then they had a square one, and I thought I would try it too. So anyway, fun crafts for um, you know the LED super bright lights. Now. Dollar Tree has their uh, Halloween stuff out everywhere now, at least at the store I went to, and they have these LED strobe lights. Now, I've not seen these, and I actually don't know how they work. I guess we could try it. I don't know. Might as well, right? Okay, so the batteries look to be in it. Um, how do you turn it on? see maybe I have to put batteries in it okay I think I have to put batteries but anyway it has these lights and it doesn't come with batteries so got to put batteries in it lesson learned okay well we're not gonna do that right now I don't know how many people have enough you know like a, a thing about strobe lights but anyway I thought that would be fun all right I got some napkins I got a couple of tablecloths nothing fancy but these are so cute right okay and then they have these cool stickers that I found. These are very, very cute. Are they not? They're so cute. And I know I am talking really fast. I'll try to slow down. <sighs> okay. And then these. These are more springy, but then we'll have them for spring, right? And these are nice for your planner. And then I use this type of frame a lot, so I went ahead and picked one of those up. All right. Yes, there's more. All right, so I did pick up a couple of these cute little organizer baskets, and 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them with my DIY or not, but they're a good size, so I did pick them up and we can use them if we want to. Now, Dollar Tree has these cool scoops and it's a, a rubber grip handle and they had black and they had red. And I've not used them, but I don't think you can really hurt a scoop, right? So, thought for ice and I've been using a cup, so might as well. All right, they had Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Um, this is the Dutch Cocoa, and we always, uh, my husband likes nuts in his brownies. Do you like nuts in your brownies? Nuts or no nuts? Brownies with like pink pecans or walnuts or something? Let me know, do you like, do you like brownies? Do you not like brownies? Okay. Speeding on past. Here I go. I'm keeping going. Okay, I did get a couple of notebooks at the Dollar Tree. Always can use um, notebooks. Now, have you seen these? Now, they had all their school stuff out. This is not just a plain double folder. This is a triple folder. I don't think I've ever seen a triple folder before. Yeah, so I got two. I got a red one and a yellow one. But anyway. All right, so got another frame, got some more felt leaves. I bought these last year. I used them a lot and they are so fun and perfect. And then I did get a mirror like this. I think it'll be fun to decorate for uh, fall. And I got two of them actually. I think we're getting a thunderstorm is what I'm hearing. So anyway, these would be fun. I don't know, what am I showing you, the camera? <laughs> Okay, and then um, they have these purse organizers. I think I saw them before, but I never got one. But I think it might be nice to put some of my crafts in here or something. I thought it might be nice, or I don't know. But anyway, have you tried the craft organizers? I, I haven't before. Okay, so zooming on past. Um, like I said, I'm going to be working on some more of these um, memo boards. And then they have these cute little highlighters and they are quick dry bright and fluorescent and they are assorted ink so this is a pink purple and a blue so I did pick that up all right zooming on past zoom 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 um, here's the red triple folder yeah believe me it is something I didn't know they had then I did pick up some file folders. I do a lot of things with file folders. These are cute, by the way. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sorry, I'm just really speeding on. All right, so they had this, which prompted me to get the brownie mix. This is a rapid brownie maker, and it says it's the world's fastest and easy way to make brownies. And you fill it to the water line, you put some vegetable in it. How many of you used applesauce instead of vegetable oil? That's what I do, anyway. Okay, and then an egg. Did you see that? Okay, maybe it's not just me. All right, and then you actually use this in the microwave for three minutes and 30 seconds, and it bakes brownies versus 30 minutes in the oven, and they're perfect. So we have to try it. We're gonna have to try this out. So maybe I'll do a separate video because this one's getting kind of long with the brownie mix and see how it works. So look for that. Okay, and last, pumpkin spice and everything nice. Yep, so that's my haul, hauls, all combined, really fast, zoom, zoom, zoom. Don't forget, oh, and I did forget this, yep. Family, friends, football, yep. That's at our house anyway. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'm going to be going and filming that brownie right now to try this rapid brownie maker and let you know how it works and have my husband test it too. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, bye.